I love working with kids because you can almost watch them grow. And it's so cool to see them grow, not only physically, but emotionally and mentally. And I remember I was working with this one child up on a, on a single bar, on a single horizontal bar. And I was trying to teach her how to do a forward roll around the bar. It's not a terribly difficult move. It almost happens by itself, but you have to do the right setup and whatnot. And I had taught her everything she needed to know. At this point, I knew, I knew that she could do the forward roll. She didn't know that she could do the forward roll and end up right back where she started from rolling once around a bar. And she's shaking her head and she's talking to herself. And she's saying, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And she's trying to convince me. But I already knew, she'd already showed me that she could, she just hadn't yet done. But she'd done all the lead ups perfectly and I'm convinced it's, she's ready and I'm there to help her and I'm gonna make sure it happens for her and help her anywhere along the way. And finally, she went around once and she came up and she goes, I did it, I can do it. And then from there on, she could do it. And the growth was just amazing. The personal growth of, of her deciding, instead of saying, I can't, to start saying, I can. And then we went on and she became a really talented gymnast. But, but at first, somebody somewhere had convinced her to start saying to herself, I can't. And it turns out that lots of studies have been done on lots of kids. And most kids at a young age, think they can do everything. They think they can. Can you play clarinet? Oh yeah, let me, it doesn't even matter what it is. They'll give it a shot and they already think in advance that they can. They don't have it built in. I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do the next, I'm a failure, I'm not good enough, I shouldn't even try, why should I even do this? What's the point? That got, that got taught to us. And to me it's important when I work with adults, that we keep rephrasing things, that we keep looking at going through the steps most assuredly, because failures can be emotionally tough. Keep going through the success steps, breaks things down into little enough steps so that you can succeed, 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 and eventually build it up into the next big success. And you go, oh, look how far I've come. Whether that's in physical skills, kitchen skills, thought processes, books read, it really doesn't matter. I tell people all the time when I ask them, oh, have you read this book? Have you read that book? They go, no, no, haven't read many books. I go, well, you don't have to. You don't have to read books. You don't even have to read pages. You just have to read one word at a time. It's one word, next word, next word, next thing you know, you got a sentence done, then a paragraph, then a chapter, and then a book. They're not that hard if we break steps down and we want to break steps down individually to the person so that they can bite off a small enough bite that they can chew it successfully and that they can succeed because success breeds success. Telling yourself you can and doing things that you can while pushing into the reasonable challenge range. Why? Why challenge? Because with no challenge, it's not interesting anymore. That little bit of challenge is what keeps things interesting. So let's keep your life interesting while we keep growing, telling ourselves that we can trust your body, trust your mind to grow and to perform on the things that you want to grow with while you're constantly checking yourself what am I telling myself? Am I telling myself I can or am I telling myself I can't? Because the old saying is still appropriate. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you're right. So trust your body to do the right thing. Think the thoughts of success. What would a successful person be thinking right now? Oh, a successful person would be thinking, I can. And tell yourself you can, and then watch how much you really can. Dr. Doug Graham reminding you, go to health. <laughs>